In this video tutorial series, we're going to provide an overview of the 3D scanning process. 3D scanning allows you to take an object that you've created in the real world and translate that into digital information uh, that you can use for a variety of purposes on your computer, in your computer. And more specifically, we're going to be using uh, the Next Engine 3D scanner to input our real world object into the computer. We're going to be using two pieces of uh, software. We're going to be uh, using Scan Studio to scan, align, and trim our objects. And we're going to use RapidWorks, which is an add-on to um, Scan Studio. We're going to use that to fuse our data together, polish it, clean it, and to output our um, geometries. And we're going to output uh, polygonal geometries, which we can do at a variety of resolutions and for different purposes. And we're also going to output surface patches or NURBS geometries that can be used in programs such as uh, Rhino. And over the course of the tutorial, we're going to deal with each one of these areas uh, in depth so that you have a, a firm understanding and overview of the scanning process. Okay, I want to talk about some uh, things that you might consider about your objects before you uh, begin the scanning process. Um, and, and I want to talk about this object here in particular and some of the things that you see here. Um, generally, objects that are flat, that have our, that are flat, um, scan, scan best. That is, you want to avoid, avoid objects that are very shiny, and you also want to um, avoid objects that are, are, are black. Okay? Um, and so, objects that are cast in plaster are really good. If you don't have plaster, you can use some flat white paint or gesso to cover your object before you begin scanning. That works really well also. Some things you may also do, pink foam, blue foam, foam materials work uh, very well. Any object that is um, inherently flat. Now the dots that you see on this object, these are alignment dots. And when the scanner uh, scans an object, not only does it capture geometric data, but it also captures texture data. And this may prove very valuable because you can actually, uh, if your image is covered uh, with a texture or with color, that image is captured and you can actually capture that texture map information that you can use in your uh, rendering workflow in any of your um, modeling packages. The dots that you see here, these are alignment dots. And what this allows us to do um, is that this allows us when we scan, and right now we're in a vertical orientation, I could uh, rotate this object, let's say if I wanted to capture the top of the head, I could rotate this object sideways and scan it um, that way, and then we're going to use these alignment dots, A, to scan within a family, and to scan uh, multiple families, and it's the mode that allows us to uh, bring the object together. So as long as you have these dots on, on your object, or if you have a lot of features that you can align to, use as alignments on your objects when you don't want to put dots on them, that's another option. You can use some of the features within your objects to aid in the alignment process, but that's why we have these um, dots on this object. Keep them small. Uh, this is a small object and we're zoomed in, which is why some of these appear kind of large, but you want to keep these uh, small and be careful because sometimes the scanner will actually 
pick these up as indentures in your objects, as indents on your object, but you can always use some of your smoothing and buffing tools to get those out. But that's why these exist. These are our alignment dots. And generally, you want to rotate the object. In the front view, put uh, several dots far apart. Uh, turn it to the side. Make sure that you can see at least one or two of the dots that you can see from the front view. Add some more and follow the same process on the back and the other side. And this way you can move your scanner, you can um, rotate your object, and you'll always be able to bring it all back together and into alignment.